Carl from Studio in Car. And I'm going to show you around this awesome C63 AMG. I hate myself for not owning one of these. Wicked car. This one's super clean. Belongs to a guy called Marco. Lovely lad. And we've been talking via email for a little while which spec he would like to do. He's seen stuff on our YouTube channel, as you are now. And um, liked what he saw. So he came through. We've spec'd him a... Uh, it's a lovely system this, real straightforward. 51K, Alderson 51K, five channel amplifier. Alderson Bit1 HD Virtuoso DSP. Hertz Melee ML2500.3, so that is the 10 inch Melee Legends subwoofer. Real heavy hitter, that sub, real good subwoofer. Um, we're running an Alderson DMI in here, so we're running fiber optic. This was a Harman Kardon car. So we've integrated that, not lost anything at all, uh, other than the rear speakers, which we didn't want. So um, yeah, and then we've got the Mio Legend seven inch mid base in the front door. Stu worked at it for a little while and managed to get the seven inch in there on an OEM style baffle, it's custom made. Um, but that gives us nearly twice the displacement in the front door for mid base and it works really well. And then the Melee Legend Tweeter, so it's a two-way active front end, sub, that's all we need. So let's have a little look around it. It's very OEM spec in here, so not much to see in the front end as usual. All OEM sort of integration, so we're using the original radio for everything. And then I'll show you the boot. We've gone for an OEM style vented boot floor, which I think you might like. Let's have a look. First things first, it's a, just a super clean car. This is how you'd want one, really. So the doors have been sound end as well. We've got the Melee Legend 7 inch mid base in there. That's six from factory. And then um, we've managed to step the baffle back for a seven inch. Then we've got the Melee Legend tweeters in a nice spot. These cars, like the, the C63 of this era, lends itself to car audio as a good solid door, good solid tweeter placement. That's why we've gone for a simple setup. It needn't be complicated in these cars. It's a lovely finish in here as well. So yeah, OEM radio running everything. And then as you can just spy down there, a DRC MP on a printed mount in the ashtray. And this, of course, all just carries on working as it should. So yeah, that's the front end. And as we look at the boot, you would really think, you know, if you didn't know, if you weren't watching this video, for a reason, you'd think it's just a completely OEM boot. But we have this little trick up our sleeve, which is the vented boot floor. And then inside, we have all of our equipment. I'll just put this panel down. And of course, that panel's vented so it can pass through the base from this subwoofer, which is in this enclosure, stepped back from the front baffle by about 50 mil. So it's quite deep, the edge of that box before you get to the sub. And that's a custom made box with a custom made rack for the amplifier. And then the DSP is down there as well. You can see the fiber optic cable down here, which we've extended from the car and then the DMI is mounted too. That goes fiber optic into the bit one HD and then analog out to the 51K. And yeah, that works a treat. These cars are well sealed from the boot through into the car. You still get plenty of base. You'll get more with the lid off, slightly less with it on, but still plenty of base in there. And that's it, back together, close that. 
and then off you go. You just wouldn't know, other than the fact that it sounds fantastic in there. So with Mercedes like this, because of the age of them, you're limited on, on what you can do input wise. So this we've set it up streaming. I've set it up streaming via Spotify. I want to set up the sound tuning with as low a resolution as I can really. And then as we step up the resolution, it will just sound better and better. So yeah, that, that's how we've set it up. It won't recognize many devices via USB. I'd love to know what it does recognize. So if you've got one of these and you know what goes into that USB slot, let me know. I think it might just be for USB sticks with some form of file type that it would read your music that you put onto USB. Not many people do that anymore. So uh, yeah, we're just streaming to it via Bluetooth at the moment. Anyway, that is this gorgeous really nice condition I've condition it's near on perfect we've had you know we have plenty of stuff off but this just doesn't seem like it's been off before we get brand new cars that come through that aren't in this condition anyway that's the c63 amg i'm carl and this is studio in car if you've got one or anything like it or you like this system and would like that sort of spec in your car just let us know all right take it easy